Hey guys, uh, today's day 12 of my liver reduction diet. For those of you who've just joined my channel, welcome and I'll just give a quick um, cap over who I am and what I'm doing. So my name's Jan Silver, I'm 44 years old, I live in Berkshire in the United Kingdom and I am about to have a gastric bypass on Wednesday, so I'm... Sunday today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, not far forward. So yes, I'm about to embark on that. Leading up to that, I've had to do a liver reduction diet and that has consisted of four soups and four yogurts only every day, plus one pint of semi-skimmed milk. I've done that, you're supposed to do that for the two weeks leading up to your surgery for your liver to shrink enough for them to be able to move it. So that's what I'm doing. The reason I'm putting it out there on YouTube when I was researching the gastric bypass or the, or the weight loss surgeries that I could undertake, I did a lot of YouTube searching or just Googling all of it. And I found so many inspiring stories through YouTube that I was hoping to be the same to somebody else one day. Um, or alternatively, it's a good way for me to look back and see where I was or how I was at each stage of the process. So. I'm day 12 today of my liver reduction diet. I'm doing okay. Yesterday was my toughest day and I know a friend of mine, Lisa, had asked me to do a video last night on how I got through. We had some friends around, the rugby was on, brilliant score. Um, but we had friends around with drinks and nibbles and you know, I've been really fortunate up until this point because I've been on my own, as many of you would know. My husband's been traveling. And yesterday, yeah, it was really hard. It, I felt yesterday morning was okay. Mid-morning, I started to feel a bit aggy and moody and grumpy, and I couldn't really put my finger on it. Um, and, yeah, I wasn't really angry at anybody, just, you know, doing the housework and kind of really fucked off with everything. But I knew that I was going to have temptation in my way yesterday, which I hadn't had previously in, in the last 12 days. So uh, we went shopping for the bits and pieces and I kind of said, you got the crisp aisle, I'm not, I'm going to go and do something else and then, you know, we'll meet. And I said to my husband, you know, you're going to have to set it all up. I'm not setting it all up because I'm not eating it. And he's like, no, that's fine, Jan, that's fine. But actually, when it came to it, I thought, you know, I can't avoid food. It's going to be in my face and, and everywhere I go. I, just at this point, this diet is my willpower. I don't have an assistant to help me. It's all about saying, no, I don't, I'm not going to. And, and so I knew that was going to be tough. And yeah, when we got back, I actually prepped the food. I prepped the cheese and the meats and, you, you know, and my friend Claire came around. She was kind of like, I didn't know whether to bring wine. And I was like, look, you lot have got to live. This is my choice, right? At the end of the day, this is me that wants to do this and I can't stop anybody else from drinking. I don't want to because that was me a few weeks ago. Um, and yes, it was strange and it was hard not joining in and having a drink with everybody and, and nibbling the stuff, sitting there with all these cheeses and lovely meats on the table and I'm sitting there going, oh God, I could... But I, the, the feeling didn't last very long, if I'm being honest. I had a tonic water without the gin, so I felt like I was included. Um, but once the rugby started and your mind's taken off all of that, it didn't last very long at all. And I wasn't bothered about the not drinking, probably... I thought I'd be a lot more bothered about that, but I wasn't. I, I dealt with that actually quite well. And then I had a hot milk. Mmm, I looked great. Watching the rugby match with a big mug of hot milk. But I did it because this is really important to me. So I have to excuse my bedhead this morning. I've just dragged myself out of bed. Poor Howie, he's still in bed. It's nearly 11 o'clock on Sunday morning and he's not feeling very well at all. He's got a really bad headache, but I presume it's jet lag and just time time differences at the moment he's got to get back into the normal way of life so um yeah today's a really relaxing day for us and um he's been really good you know like going shopping yesterday and we were thinking of the snacks just for the rugby match with the friends coming around but I said you know you've still got to eat in the evening you've still got to eat on Sunday Howard whilst I've got all my soups and yogurts I'm prepped until Wednesday I know exactly what I'm going to eat there's no and I haven't got to cook it Poor Howie, whereas I normally cook for him, and that because that's my job, if you like, that sounds a bit crap, but he works, I don't, so I see that as my 
my role in, in our partnership. Um, but he's totally prepared at the moment to actually have a ready meal, which I don't have to prepare and he'll deal with that. He's he's more than happy to do that. So bless him, we got him some ready meals so he can have that while I am, I'm obviously videoing again while my soup, mmm, chicken noodle soup for breakfast. Well, it's kind of brunch really, isn't it? It's 11 o'clock, but that's all right. I've had a nice lazy morning. And I have to just mention, I have been reaching out more, as I keep saying every day to people. I've had the nicest messages of support from my wider circle, and I can only thank you for that. Donna, your message made me cry, actually. I was really quite touched with what you said, and that meant an awful lot to me. And I'm, I'm glad now that I am reaching out and I'm telling people, you know, I'm not telling anybody because I want them to worry. I'm just, I've always been an open book. You know, I'm the kind of person, if you ask me how I am, be prepared for the answer because I'll be really fucking honest. If I'm happy, I'll let you know. If I'm pissed off, I'll let you know. You, you know, that's that's just me. It always has been. So kind of keeping this under my hat has been quite odd for me because I'm not a secretive person. I do tend to, I wear my heart on my sleeve constantly and, and that's just me. So it's felt really good um, to put it out there. And, and thank you. Like I said, the, the messages of support that I've had, Susie and Charlotte yesterday as well. Yeah, Thanks guys. It, it means a lot, you know, and I kind of just wanted to say what I'm doing. I, I'm not sure that I want in a few months time to meet you because I don't see you all the time. I'm not sure I then want to meet you. And you're like, Jan, look. And then I go, actually, I had a gastric bypass. You know, I think I'm better off being up front, but I've had to do it in my own time. So, you know, um, I haven't lost any more weight this morning. I got on the scales. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be getting on the scales every day, but for me, it's just quite interesting because this isn't about losing weight. It's about my liver reduction. So, um, but I don't think I've lost any more weight. I'm just, I'm at a plateau. But I must just mention as well, I haven't had a toilet. I haven't had a poo for a few more days again. Now, I'm not needing to go. There's a real, it's a weird sensation because the soup is so minor and it's mainly fluid that I've probably not got anything to go. But it just feels really weird. And each day goes on, you're like, oh, oh, you know. And if I can be really crude... I've always had a bit of a trumpet bum, but I'm not even farting. Howard's like, win, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> so there's me in all my glory. Um, so that's Sunday today, day 12. I'm doing okay. If you haven't already, click like and subscribe. I'm on Instagram under looking on the lighter side of life. And sorry, Lil, I did try to do this video yesterday, but it wasn't happening. This internet here in Midgem is just too much. Good morning, Piju. As you can hear, she wants to say hi too. She does this generally when I'm on the phone to my daughter and granddaughter, so she's kind of going, Mum, I want your attention now. So I better go, better go and see my little pussycat. Hope you have a lo lovely Sunday, guys. I hope that wasn't too much information about poos and farting, but it's part of life, right? Take care, bye.